Good day. Welcome back to De La Cruz Engineering Videos, your supply of passport solutions. So for today's video, we will gonna be discussing the principle of hydrostatic force in the fluid mechanics with solved CE board problem. Okay, so before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and like our Facebook page to be more updated on our future videos. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. So consider we have a liquid with a free surface as shown, and we have a floating body. Okay, this is it. This is the front view. Now, if we will look it at the side view, it will be like this. Okay, now projecting the area. This is the projected area, and assuming that this body is inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal. Okay, now what we are uh, what we are um, doing here is we will calculate the total force acting of this plane because of the pressure of the liquid that is producing here. Okay, so we will consider a differential area, and it will be projected here. And um, let's assume that it's a variable h from the free or free surface, and the distance along with this. Um, plane to the free surface is uh, let's say that is y and of course that is also at an angle theta with the horizontal okay now this uh, differential element here let's call that dy okay and of course um, we will be analyzing a differential force here because of the pressure that uh, is exerted at this point now um our mission here is to calculate the total force acting on this plane and that is just by summing all the differential force at every single element dito and it can be solved by using integral okay now uh, from the general principle of force that is the pressure times area okay now since we he, we are here in a liquid sur liquid um pressure in liquid that can be ex um, exposed as gamma times h Okay, as the height increases, the pressure increases. Okay, gamma H times area. Now, considering the differential force, DF is equal to gamma H times the differential area. Okay, now we will integrate both sides. Integrating both sides. Okay, and ilalabas natin yung gamma since that is constant. And H here can be expressed as um, Y over sine of theta. Okay, considering this right triangle formed here. Okay, I hope you follow like that. Now, integrating df, that will be f. Then, ilalabas natin yung sine of theta since that is constant trend. Now, take note, integral of yda. Okay, and that is um, from calculus. The integral of yda is the area of the moment of the area moment of this um, object. Okay, that is from the centroid, this Barred Y is located from the centroid to the plane surface that is along to the centroid. Okay, take note that is not the Y here. This is barred Y. Okay, so <clears throat> substituting this area barred Y here, it will be like this times area barred Y. Okay, now this barred Y over sine of theta, we can express the, this as barred H. Okay, look at this. So this will be the formula of the hydrostatic force. Okay, so take note this can be used when when a single liquid lang yung um, nandito. Okay, it be it will be more um, um, complicated if the the liquid that our object is in um, we have a multiple of liquids mas magiging um, ma analyze siya. Okay, but I want you to memorize this, the general principle. The force is the pressure at the center of the gravity of that area times the area alone. Okay, ito yung dapat nating mas memorize. Okay, so okay, so now it will be like this. Okay, if this is the center of the gravity of this object, uh, this barred H here is measured from this point of the center of the gravity vertically to the surface okay take note that is the vertical distance and barred y is measured from this point 
along to the along to this inclined plane to the free surface yan yung tandaan nyo okay now take note this force will will not be acting directly to the centroid of the body it will be at a distance eccentricity e because the pressure nga in the liquid varies as the height increases okay now we will derive this eccentricity e how will we do that that is just by equating the moment produced by this f about this distance to the df about this distance equating these uh, moments uh, that is f times y plus e is equals to the df times y okay it will be like this this is the moment produced by this f about this axis and of course that will be integral since uh, we are considering differential force here integral of df force times distance y okay now consider that the f is gamma bar h area okay and this df is equal to this y over sine of theta dn okay now it will be like this since df is gamma y over sine of theta da and we multiplied it by y it will be y squared da okay and inilabas natin yung sine of theta okay now integral of y squared da remember that is the moment of inertia Okay, from calculus so we can substitute this i here and it will be like this times the inertia okay now take note this bard h okay look at the figure bard h can be expressed as bard y over sine of theta okay ba? so expressing this into bard y over sine of theta our sine of theta here can be cancelled and of course, this gamma can be cancelled. And matitira dito is ganito. Okay ba? Okay, now, ito yung tatandaan nyo. This inertia here is the moment of inertia or the second moment of area about this axis. Take note, dito tayo nag-rotate. Okay, but it will be very tedious to calculate this uh, when in terms of uh, in solving problems. Uh, what we will gonna do here is we will express this inertia to the inertia of this object okay and how will we do that by the parallel axis theorem okay by the way ito yung moment of inertia but we will do here ita transfer natin ito dito sa centroidal moment of inertia of this object okay because we have the common moment of inertia of the object naman so we can calculate it easily okay by parallel axis theorem this inertia about this axis is the transferred moment of inertia of the global moment of inertia here to that point that is ig plus ad squared where area natin dito is the area of this object and d d squared or d is the transfer moment of i mean the transfer distance so from here the moment of inertia here we want to transfer it here to the centroid meaning that d here is the y uh, bar y okay so this inertia of the globe ig is the global moment of inertia of this um, object so okay so we can um, distribute or substitute this ig plus ad here and it will be like this okay and we will uh, distribute this and ayun magiging ig plus a bar y squared now as you can see this can be cancelled y squared a and y a y squared na baliktad lang dito okay ang matitira is of course the e or the eccentricity is equal to the ig the moment of inertia of this object over the area bar y and that is the formula eccentricity okay now we will try an example problem from the board exam this one okay so situation a circular gate has 1.5 meters in diameter is inclined 45 degrees with the vertical the center of the gate is 10 meters below the surface okay let's interpret muna okay so we have the free surface and we have a circular gate yun and that is 45 degrees with the vertical take note that is with the vertical so it will be like this excuse me okay now how to calculate the total force the distance of the force from the 
bottom and the gate is hinged at the top find the normal force applied at the bottom of the gate okay so take note that the center of the gate is 10 meters below the water surface from here okay so if this is the center of the gravity ito yung 10 meters and actually that is the bar h natin okay take note bar h is from the centroid to uh, to the free surface the vertical distance okay so let's calculate along the bar y okay bar y is measured along with this plane okay and let's call that and of course this is 45 degrees this is also 45 degrees with the vertical and this is the bar y 10 over cosine of 45 okay um be cautious of this ha sa board exam na lumabas kasi um with the vertical rin yung angle okay and as you memorize the formula kanina yung gagawin nyo talaga dito is y over i mean bar h over sine of theta which is the sine of uh, the theta there is with the horizontal okay by in this problem it is okay because 45 degrees dito and the horizontal 45 degrees rin okay but on our time ang lumabas is hindi 45 degrees meaning the the angle between the horizontal will not be also 45 degrees and, and maraming uh, nagkamali doon kasi ala, uh, akala nila erroneous yung problem yun, yun pala is because of this angle that is with the vertical okay so by this hindi na siya magiging sign of 45 as you can see this 10 is the adjacent man so we will use the cosine function okay so in a way take note of that na lang okay now what uh, for number one we want to calculate the surface and by the way if that the diameter of this is 1.5 meaning the half of this is 0 0.75, 0 0.75 the radius okay for number one the uh, calculate the total force that is the uh, let's call that fh lang hydrostatic force okay it will be like that and of course it will be at a distance eccentricity e from the centroid Yun. okay and we have this formula we derived kanina gamma bar h area and madali na lang ito okay the gamma is the 9.81 of the liquid and bar h is this one 10 and the area of the circle is pi over 4 d squared and we have 173.36 kilonewtons okay now for number two calculate the distance of the total force from the bottom of the gate okay look at this this is the total force or the hydrostatic force ang inahanap dito is this one this is the bottom of the gate and distance from the total force okay and let's call that z na lang okay as you can see z here is equals to the radius 0.75 minus the eccentricity okay we need to calculate the eccentricity muna and ano yung formula i over area bar y so wala na problema meron na tayong bar y dito and of course we have the area and we, of course we have the inertia of this circular object so recall the inertia of the circular object is pi over 64 diameter raised to 4 and the area is pi over 4 d squared okay and the bar y is 10 over cosine of 45 degrees or 14.14 okay now we have this um, eccentricity 9.945 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters okay now the c can be calculated that is 0.75 minus the eccentricity and we have 0.74 meters and that is the answer now for part 3 if the gate is hinged at top find the normal force applied at the bottom required to open the gate okay so do you understand this problem so let's imagine this way na lang. Okay, let's say we have a uh, structure here that is ha having a gate, a circular gate dito, and is hinged at this top. Okay, so the question here is find the normal force applied at the bottom required to open the gate. And ito yung force na yun. Okay, at the bottom of the gate, normal to this gate also, P, meaning that is 90 degrees. Okay, so how to calculate this P? And that is and that can be solved by summation of moment about e should be zero since that is a hinge okay so we have um, p times summation of moment about hinge so we have the p times the distance the um, total diameter 1.5 
minus take note this um, force will create counterclockwise moment minus this and the moment arm is 0 0.75 plus the e which is e is it and we solve now the p 87.83 kilonewtons okay so that's it i hope um na enjoy nyo yung video so thank you for watching and please con continue to support our page and our youtube channel okay so that's it bye bye